Hello, I'm Deborah Trinelli, and I have been very fortunate to have a wonderful long career as an actor and a singer. I know firsthand the amazing work that the Actors Fund does, and I just personally want to thank all of the brave hearts for their care, their service, and giving up their time and amazing talents to this evening and to our community. So, one of my most cherished family traditions is the reading of The Night Before Christmas on Christmas Eve. This is the actual copy, thanks mom for the loan, of the book that my father used to read to us. We would all get in our pajamas and sit on the couch and right before we climbed into bed, my dad would read to us. He continued that tradition with his two beautiful granddaughters and after his passing, my brother continued with his daughters and now we have the exciting news of continuing the tradition to another generation with the arrival of my great nephew, Jackson. So, in loving memory and honor of my father, the night before Christmas. A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. from my home to yours. Happy holidays and have a very, very Merry Christmas.